Hello and welcome to the Unusual Fruit Garden. So today I've just taken delivery of a mulberry tree. This is a Morris Niagara mulberry tree. And it's quite a big one as you can see. It's arrived in a 30 litre pot. It's already up to about 2 metres tall where it's already been topped off on the main trunk branch. From there it's got plenty of shoots coming off. Now because it's already 2 metres tall just to the main trunk before you even get into any of the taller branches these are all going to have to be bent over. I'm going to try and grow this as an espalier like similar to other fruit trees like your apple trees things like that. I'm not going to be planting it in the ground. I've went out and actually bought a full size whiskey barrel uh, which I'm going to be using as a planter. I just need to get the top cut off that but as you can see that's a hell of a good size. That's going to be getting filled with a mixture of uh, compost and topsoil. I'm um, just waiting for that to actually get delivered because that's coming in a big dumpy bag because to buy it all individually would be rather expensive. So that's coming in a day or two but in the meantime I just thought I'd actually show the tree just before I actually get it uh, actually potted up into the planter. I say it's uh, coming in a nice big 30 litre pot, it's got a good root system on it already. Uh, the tree itself, I'm going to be trimming off a lot of this lower branch area. Some of them I might try and make some cuttings out of, others I'll just discard. It's going to be more the top third of the tree that I'm going to be trying to keep and try and keep the rest of it as a more of a, a bog standard trunk type tree. As I say, the top, it's all going to get bent over and I'm going to be getting some sort of trellis and netting and I'm probably going to be leaving it in this corner area. So I'll try and actually get it growing around the corner of uh, where it's going to be going up against the house. The, plant, uh, the barrel's going to be getting left there and then I might put some sort of netting going around either side of the wall and that's going to be what I'm going to try and use to actually train the tree down. As you can see it's a really nice good condition tree. Because of the height it was slightly more expensive. This came in at £80. That's I don't know about $110 if you're watching in the US. So it's not exactly a cheap tree but because they're not super fast growing trees you either buy a small one and wait 5-10 years for it to get into this sort of maturity and height or you spend the money and you uh, pay somebody who's already gone through those years of growth for you. So as I say, that's what I've done. This tree is around about seven years old, something like that. And as you can see, it's got a really good height on it. Plenty of growth coming off the branches. I am actually hoping I might even get a couple of berries this year as well. So I'm going to wait until the dumpy bag gets done and I'll pick this film up after I'm ready to start filling it into the planter. And uh, we'll show you what it's like when it's all in place. But yeah, that is my Morris Niagara mulberry tree. And that is the actual inspiration for the entire Unusual Fruit Garden. Uh, within the Unusual Fruit Garden I've got Wineberry, Jostaberry, Lingonberry, Serviceberry, Chili and Guava, Tayberry, Blueberry, Wineberry, uh, Honeyberry, loads of Strawberries, Gorgieberry and obviously there's going to be the Mulberry as well. So do subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be updating it all the time as well. So as I say, feel free to follow along and let's see how this Mulberry progresses throughout the year and, uh, and beyond. Thanks for watching. Cheers.